Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with another full case break of 2018 Bowman's Best Baseball. Pick your team number 13, one of our favorite products here at Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com. A very big thank you to all of these folks for getting into it in the new year. Happy New Year, everybody. Brad with that double last spot mojo. He got Cubs and Giants at once. And there's everyone else there, so good luck to everyone as well. All right. We just actually, literally today, so this is the last case from our first batch of best. And we've got a couple more cases today, so keep your eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com for more. So there's two, four, six, eight boxes right there. Four autographs per box. And good luck to all. Got plenty of baseball on the website, folks. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Not only do we have more Bowman's Best, we also have uh, Bowman Draft remaining as well. Have we pulled a one of one out of here yet? Like a, a super fractor autograph out of here? Oh, we do? Josh Prue says it's time for a one of one. All right, I think so too. Good luck, everyone. Our first autograph is going to be Carter Kaiboom for Darren McKenzie. And the Nationals. Autograph number one of four. And Nolan Gorman, nice Nolan Gorman for the Cardinals. And that goes to Josh Reich. Next auto. Oh, what up, bro? Josh, bro. For Scott Cooper. And the Yankees. And Tristan Houses for TJ and the Red Sox. Nice Tristan Casas. Their first round pick from this year. And we got Francisco Lindor, purple chrome to 250. And we'll have these top loaded before they get sent out, of course. All right, nice start. Next box. Anything happening? <laughs> in 
baseball these days? Uh, Angels signed Jonathan Lucroy. I, al I almost thought that he would have gone back to uh, to Milwaukee, but I don't know what his. I don't know how they left things out there. Um, White Sox have reportedly made a formal offer to Manny Machado. This is all according to MLBTradeRumors.com. Philly signed David Robertson, bolstering their uh, their pen. No worries, TJ. Yankees reportedly focused on Zach Britton. So those are the the top stories of the last 24 hours or so. White Sox have been frequently linked, this is according to baseball, or maybe traderumors.com. Stephen Adams writing, uh, the White Sox have been frequently linked to both Bryce Harper and Manny Machado this offseason, but USA Today's Bob Nightingale tweets that they're more engaged on Machado at the moment and recently extended a formal offer to, offer to the free agent infielder. The Shy Sox has not yet taken that step with Harper Nightingale ads. Details unknown, though the very fact that a formal offer has been put forth is nonetheless notable. The White Sox have been motivated all offseason to add some established big league talent to their roster as they look to begin emerging from a rebuild. But to this point, the biggest names they've been able to add are Alex Colome and right hander Ivan Nova, both via the trade market. That'll be interesting. How, cl how close are the White Sox? Are, are they that close to be adding that kind of payroll and talent? I, I, I guess they think so. There's Brady Singer. That goes to Karen and the Royals. We got a gold Alex Baum, 10 out of 50 best performers insert. Atomic Willie Adams, love those Atomics. And we got best performers, Connor Scott for the Marlins, Austin Paglia. There you go, Austin. Mariners, or Mariners, Marlins, one of the last teams picked up. Get a nice insert autograph right here. 91 out of 150. Nice. Nice. And that David Robertson deal with the Phillies, MLB Network saying two-year deal, guarantees him at least $23 million. And they've got young guys like him coming up the ranks. Phillies could be an interesting and dangerous team for many years to come. There's Glaber Day to 250. And Ethan Hankins for the Tribe. That'll go to Jason Ackerman. And nice Jonathan India for the Reds. That's for Josh Pruce. There you go, Josh. Nice. Next box. Red Sox could be back in the running for Craig Kimbrell. MLB.com is reporting. White Sox, look up the White Sox depth chart here and see what a Manny Machado could add to that roster.
All right, so around the horn, we got Wellington Castillo at cast catcher Wellington Wilson. Yonder Alonso, Abreu could be switching off at first or DH. Yohan Mankata at second. So you kind of been re get Tim Anderson into a more of a bench role. Gilmer Sanchez, third base. Nicky Delmonico, Angle. Garcia around the outfield. That's interesting. Yeah, Machado in that lineup with Abreu? That could be very interesting. You know, they got guys like him coming up the ranks too. That's supposed to be a big deal. There's Grayson Rodriguez. That's for the O's. Christian Williams. Yep. TJ saying the White Sox pitching is right about there too. I feel like Giolito. Lucas Giolito is... Uh, a once highly touted prospect kind of fell on some hard times, kind of back in the action, looking good. There's Tristan Costa's little color there too, TJ, purple chrome. And Brandon McKay, another two-way player like Otani. Could be a big one for the Rays. Ryan Rollison is your Rockies autograph. That goes to Richard Santana. That's your first mini box. Um, right, so they've got... They've got Carlos Rodon there, Ivan Nova in the mix, Giolito, Michael Kopech, who's I think out for the season, but I mean, in limit, I think for with Tommy John surgery, I think he'll be back in the action within a year, extra year under the belt of uh, all those other young offensive players. I mean, all of a sudden, you're like, hey, wait a second, this is a pretty, it's a pretty decent team. They could make a Braves or there's the Braves or Phillies type jump, you know the way they made those big jumps this season, those young teams. Nice Estevan Floreal, 86 out of 100 early indications autograph. Nice, right, Scott Cooper with the Yankees. See, Yankees aren't necessarily, they can spend the money. I don't know if they want to. The guys like, they got a lot of young guys coming up the ranks too. So they do, do they really need to fill up that payroll with Manny Machado or Bryce Harper? I don't know. We'll see. There's Daniel Lynch for the Royals. Brad saying, uh, just saying I won't be happy if, if I get my first gun of the year from this. Well, here's what I would do, Brad. I would accept, I would start off thinking I'm going to get skunked. Do the reverse. Start off thinking I'm going to get skunked in this break. And then when you hit something, you're like, hey, look at that. Oh, good. So then you then you won't then you uh then you'll be happy. Then you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You gotta set the bar low. Remember, folks, most of these breaks, sixty percent of you are not gonna hit. Let's just be honest here. Real talk. We're in the trust tree now. Sixty to seventy percent of you are not gonna get an autograph. But for those of you who do hit, you get a monster autograph. This moment's best is nice. That's, there's a reason why we've gone through 13 of these breaks. And then the next pick your team, which is on jazzyscasebreaks.com right now, that's already halfway full. All right. Oh, look at this. 77, 77 out of 99, Casey Mize. Nice one for the Tigers, Thomas Reigns. Supposed to be the real deal, Holy Field. As, as I guess no one's really a can't-miss prospect, but that the number one overall pick in 2018 
could be close to close to that. <laughs> Brad, I'm th I'm thinking more. We should all be happy with a with a good baseball average. Can't think of it as as an A through F grade kind of percentage. We're thinking we got to think like, hey, if I hit 300. Paul Cool Whit with the Braves, Ozzy Albies, nice rookie auto there. There's Machado right there. Could he slot in that White Sox team? Does he want to play with the White Sox? That's, like, that's an exciting team out there, though. A lot of young, exciting talent. I think as long as... I'm not sure if he's going to be a leader of a clubhouse, but I'm sure there are other guys that could take that mantle. All right, there's Jordan Groshans for the Blue Jays. That'll be for uh, Jeff Goldenthal. And I think I – did I see a redemption in there somewhere? No, maybe not. Thought I had for a second. And Nico Herner. There you go. Brad, last spot mojo, getting the Cubs first rounder. See, nothing to worry about. Nice, there you go. And there's Carlos Carrasco, 12 out of 50. And Nick Williams to 150. Did I look through these already? See, Brad, expectations lowered, autograph hit, happiness increased. See, and then everyone wins. Set the bar too high all the time, and that's uh, it could be disappointment too often. Oh yeah, did we get? I, I was thinking, Josh, where do we get that Fernando Tatis Jr.? Was it out of this one or out of the draft? Maybe it's out of this. He's on the box. It's probably out of this. I think he's pretty short printed. All right, we've got four boxes left. One, two, three, four, sixteen autographs left, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of autos left. So if you if you are hitless at the moment, there's still opportunities for hits. So no need to panic just yet. Maybe if we're down to the last box, you can start worrying. But right now, right now, not, not no need to worry as of yet. Uh, no, e, this is our second break of the day. We did uh, two boxes of Leaf Autograph football jerseys, and now we just got launched into this Bowman's Best Baseball. I think someone mentioned earlier that we are uh, that that football mixer has just sold out, so we'll be jumping into that. Ooh, an orange Fernando Tatis Jr., Josh Bruce. All right. Well, we haven't seen too much color in these autos yet, so just that Casey Mize green, I think. Maybe another one or two, but let's go for it. All right. Good luck, everybody. And another Tristan Houses for TJ and the Bow Sox. I was going to say, you know, we could find some color here on the some of the base autos that we pulled. That'd be nice, too. But no, another one. Not bad. There you go, TJ. JP Crawford to 99. Eloy Jimenez to 250. Purple Chrome for the White Sox. That'll be for Scott Cooper. This is the guy that Josh Proust is looking for. And we've got another Cub, Jose Albertos for Brad. And the last spot, Mojo. There you go, Brad. Another one for you.
All right, next little stack right here. We got Jordan Alvarez for the Astros. Thomas Reigns with the Strohs. Be one more in here, and it's your Cy Young Award winner, Blake Snell. Eight out of 50. What a fantastic season for him. That goes to Jeff Truesdale and the Tampa Bay Rays. Nice. It's pretty strong. Brad saying, I guess complaining is all it takes. TJ is like, I feel like most of the time when I do complain, I don't get anything. Different strategies for everybody, TJ. Different approaches in the batter's box. Brad's the kind of guy, I guess, that, that, that chatters at the ump. You know, come on, ump. Inside, for reals. TJ, you know, TJ just keeps his head, head down, digs in, digs in the box, just goes with it. Josh Proust nicer to the ump. Josh Proust steps out and goes, where was that? Oh, okay. Joe P, I complain a lot and get nothing. Well, Joe P, you need to get more at bats in too. There's also that. Joe P plays like one or two hands of blackjack and then goes, yep, this sucks. Never winning in blackjack. Joe P's benched. Wait, Joe P, we were just talking about this the other night. Are you are you affected by the uh, the government shutdown? I know a couple of the guys were here in the chat. And I was like, wait a second. I think Joe P might be involved in this. Nice Nick Madrigal. EA, are you even in this break? I don't see you in this one, Eric. Oh, you guys got fun. Okay, you guys are so you're okay. Remember last time that happened a few years ago? I know that you, that you were, that you were affected. So we're thinking about you, Joe P. All right, so that was a nice Nick Madrigal, big draft pick for Scott Cooper. There's Correa to 150, and Kybert Ruiz, Karen Steele with my Dodgers. Nice, supposed to be a big name for the Dodgers, big prospect. And the Correa, of course, goes to Thomas Reigns. Cole Huynh, nice. Rangers, that was a late pickup. Thomas Reigns on the board with the Rangers. <laughs> nice, EA. EA said boo earlier. He was just like, I was like, wait, you're not even in this break, Eric. And he's like, no, I'm just practicing for later. <laughs> I don't know, there's not a lot of those Kyber Ruiz's, TJ. I feel like it's only our second one out of out of the 13 cases we've done. There's Jared Kalanick for the Mets. Gregory Nelich with the Metropolitans. That's a big one, too. He got traded away, though. It's on the Mariners, but this still goes to the other M's, East Coast M's, the Mets. Folks, we need to find—I guess we got that gold Snell— and the Casey Mize. I want to find some more uh, some more color on these autos. All right. Eight autographs to go. Four in these last two boxes. Good luck, everybody.
If you want to run another one of these back, we've got another case on the site right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Still about, I think still a little over half the league left. So chances are the team that you're looking for, if you miss out on this one, will be there in the second one. If you like this, if you like this prospecting, prospecting is fun. Just like the old gold miners of the uh, of Northern California in the 1840s, 1849 to be exact, hence the 49ers. Um, or I guess what are some other rushes? There was a silver rush in Colorado, right? Maybe a gold rush in the Yukon as well. Anyway, if you like prospecting, Bowman Draft Baseball, I think only has a handful of teams left that we can get into. We can go prospect hunting in there as well. So check all of that out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I guess the link is right above my head, right up there. You can't click that, I think. I don't know you can't click it, but you can just type that into your browser. I'll get you there. Jaspies, plural, case, singular, breaks, plural. Jaspeescasebreaks.com. All right, good luck, everybody. Four more autos in here. There's Logan Gilbert for the M. Speaking of the Mariners, that goes to Chris Krupa with the Mariners. And we've got Eloy Jimenez, Power Producers, gold, 42 out of 50. That is for the White Sox and Scott Cooper. And there we go, Michael Baez, some early indications, and gold, 49 out of 50. Nice one for Josh Pruce and the Padres. Not the Tatis Jr. he was looking for, but a nice one nonetheless. I feel like the Padres are another team that are poised in the next season or two to make a Braves-Phillies kind of breakout, where all those young players kind of all come together and will click. Hey, Prue says, hey, I'll take it. A hit is a hit. We're not done yet, folks. So more chances to go. Cross those fingers. There's Shane McClanahan for Jeff Truesdale and the Rays. Another Ray autograph. Carlos Carrasco to 99. Wow, and another Estevan Floriel. You don't see too much of this guy either. Yankees with another one. Coop, Scott Cooper. EA thinking White Sox, maybe two years. Well, we, we were just talking about that a little bit earlier, Eric. We were like, um, White Sox made a formal offer to Manny Machado. No details on the on the terms, but a formal offer has been made. And we're like, man, I mean, Machado would essentially slot into that Tim Anderson spot at short. And we were looking, I'm looking at the depth chart right now. You got Castillo and McCann as the backstop, Abreu and Yonder Alonso as your kind of first base DH guys. Yoan Moncada at second. Yolmer Sanchez at third. You know, or you can slide, I guess if Machado is willing, you can slide into third. Tim Anderson at short depending on team or whatever. Then we got Delmonico, Angle, Garcia in the outfield, Eloy Jimenez coming up the ranks. And then you, you, slot, you slot Machado right in that lineup. And they got a strong pitching staff too. They're going to they're gonna miss Michael Kopech this year, I think, but... But they've got a pitching staff that they're kind of working on as well. It, it's interesting. They, they got that, uh, I think they just added Ivan Nova and Alex Colome. So I think Alex Colome slots in as their closer. So they've got a little bullpen 
thing there. Who knows what random youngster comes up and slots into that bullpen for extra arm help. You know, a couple steps forward, a couple steps back on some players here and there. Who knows? AL Central, it can be got. You know what I mean? It's not like it's a. It's not like the AL East. I mean, there's got to be a team like that, right, you guys? Last year there was like Phillies and, you know, Phillies and Braves kind of came out of nowhere. I mean, we all thought that it was, you know, they were going to be good teams at some point. But Ronald Acuna kind of out of nowhere, Ozzy Albius, Juan Soto got there. You know, the Phillies had a lot of youngsters that kind of blew up. There's Jordan Adams for the Angels. Angels have a little work to do, I think. But this one will go to Thomas Reigns. This is one of their first rounders from this year. A little fuzz right there. There you go. Riley Adams, Blue Jays. See, AL East is going to be tough. Tampa Bay won 90 games. Think about that. They won 90 games last year, but they finished third. <laughs> Toronto Blue Jays, right. I, they might, you know, they might need a year or so. I mean, I don't know. Ronald Acuna and Ozzy Albius, Juan Soto, they all stepped in and they raked from day one. There's Riley Adams for the Blue Jays uh, for Jeff Goldenthal. So Blue Jays won 73 games last year. That's not horrible. There's Corey Kluber to 250 and a redemption. So, I mean, there could be a number of these young teams. I guess that's the question. We'll discuss this throughout the evening in various breaks and off, uh, and off the, the recording as well. Like, who are, the, who are the next teams poised to make? It's a nice Hunter Green for the Reds. There you go, Josh Pruce. Who are the next teams poised to make that Braves-Phillies-esque jump? Because I don't think a lot of Phillies fans or Braves fans thought this was going to happen. You heard some of their front office guys for their respective teams say, hey, we saw this coming two, three years from now, maybe after we added some free agents. Not, not last year. All right. If you want more of this Bowman's Best Baseball, ladies and gentlemen, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I think the mixer filled up first. That's going to come, uh, come up after this. And it looks like Obsidian is full, and then the Flawless is down to single digits. Anthony Sigler for the Yankees is your final one. And there you have it. No randomizers, no nothing. Nice, clean break. That was Pick Your Team 13. More Bowman's Best in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's our URL up there. Check it out, and we'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.